Hey guys, and welcome to Kevin's Commentary on Comics. It's Collectible Day, and we're going to take a look at some of the Bowen mini busts featuring the X-Men. First up, we have the angel, Warren Worthington III, in his blue costume. There's also one with his red costume. And honestly, I can't decide which one I like best, but overall, I've always thought this costume was the best one for the angel. I do dig that halo they put at the base of this bust. See the angel looking very determined here and quite muscular for being a guy that just kind of flies around all the time. I guess uh, flapping those wings gives you a pretty good workout. Not to mention all the times I'm sure he spent in the danger room with Professor X and the rest of the team. I love the detail they did on the wings here. Uh, this stuff just amazes me. I don't know how sculptures do it. can actually see this. I'm sure they use some sort of uh, references to get the, the amount of detail they have on here. But really cool looking um, bust. I dig it. Uh, this one is number... 3,000, I think that's a three. Uh, 3,657 of 6,000. They made a lot of these. This on eBay is going for about 10 to 35 bucks. The red costume, however, does seem to be more. Next up, we have the Beast. This is my favorite hero, one of my favorite heroes of all time. Uh, this looks like kind of like the Jim Lee version of the Beast. Uh, my favorite version was when he was with the Avengers and drawn by George Perez and John Byrne. They kind, of, they kind of made the Beast look a little angry here, which, I don't know, doesn't seem to really fit his character in my mind. They have his finger pointing up, I guess, to kind of highlight his intellectual side. But that uh, kind of growling anger look, though, just doesn't really kind of fit overall to me. But look at the detail in the mouth. You can see his tonsils, even. The teeth in the mouth are, are very detailed. The whole face, in general, is detailed, but... I kind of wish they had made him maybe a little, you know, maybe with a smile or something like that. So this is 3,953 of 5,000. They did a thousand less of these than they did the angel. This is running on eBay for about 22 to 60 bucks. And finally, we have the Phoenix. Now, obviously, this is a mini statue and not a bust. I did a uh, episode where I did all of my mini statues and I forgot I had this one. I actually just found it in a box somewhere. Uh, the hand, the right hand here is damaged. There's a little crack there. I don't know. I'm kind of a klutz, I guess. I must have inadvertently broke it. This is kind of a fragile piece, so it's not surprising that I managed to actually break it. I love the water effect of her coming up out of the water when she first got her Phoenix-type powers. It's really, really cool detail on this. There is a dark Phoenix version of this where she's coming up out of the Phoenix flame which I'd like to get because I think it would be a nice companion piece to this. Here you can see the uh, the crack in the hand. Great detail here. Really looks cool. I like this one a lot. Again, I'd like to get the Dark Phoenix one. This one is running on eBay for about $45 to $105. So I've got 2,198 of 3,000 made of these. So an earlier run, I actually did some uh, Googling on the lower numbered statues being more valuable than the higher number. And the opinion seems to be a bit mixed. Some people think that the lower numbers could get you a higher uh, amount if you were to sell them and advertise them as such as being a lower number. But uh, in general, it seems to be, you know, maybe a 10 to 15 percent increase in price if it's a, if it's in like the first 100 or so. So that's it for today. We will show some more next time. But for now, I'm Kevin. That was my commentary. Do you have any of these statues or mini busts yourself? If you do, what do you think of them? Do you have lower numbered ones versus higher numbered ones? Leave a comment below and I will talk to you later. See ya.